All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how I do local keyword research using SEMrush so that you can find the keywords that you want to try and target and rank for in your local area. So obviously, if you've used SEMrush, it's not the best when it comes to local search results. And that's typically speaking, most SEO tools have that same problem. Let's say, for instance, that for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use a Miami roofing company. Let's just say you're just trying to rank for Miami roofers. If you just type in roofer, you're going to get very little information regarding Miami specific. Now, you could set the location to Miami here to get an idea of what's going on. So it'll give you the estimated volume for Miami specifically here. And as you can see, it gives you the estimated volume for Miami specifically and the keyword difficulty, etc. But the problem you have is if you scroll down, it goes back to the national results here. And this does give you the Miami search results, which is good. But obviously, you don't want to do this for every single keyword. And again, it doesn't give you the variations, etc. for the specifics of Miami. So there are two main things that I do in this scenario when I'm trying to get the keywords for local business. The first one is the most obvious one, which is just typing in the keyword Miami or whatever the one that you're trying to target is and trying to find the base keyword. Because what happens here is now SEMrush will be a lot more specific with the keywords it returns because all the variations and questions are going to be related to Miami, as you can see here. And so now this is going to give you the best results. Now, as we can see here, here, roofer Miami is not the main keyword. It doesn't get a lot of searches. However, roofing company Miami does or roofing contractors. So in this case, roofing contractors Miami would be the main keyword because it's the highest search volume. So you want to go with that one. However, you can definitely try these few variations and we can open these up because we might get slightly different results between these two. So what I will do is I will open both and go through this list. And so this is going to obviously give you the location specific terms. Now you will to a degree have to dig a bit deeper with certain things. So let's say for instance, you wanted to go after like metal roofing or roof replacements. Let's go with that one. You would have to type in roof replacement Miami and go through that list. But that's largely the same process as you would have to do with any keyword essentially. Like it's never gonna give you all of them straight away, but you have to just go through and find out like the variations for the local area. So you go through this list now, you can see here we've got roofing Miami, roofers Miami, um, Miami roofing company. We've got some unreal related ones, which you would obviously want to eliminate or ignore metal roof Miami. So that's another example. That was actually the one I was going to use just before. But yeah, so now we've got metal roofs Miami. Now you can see here, now we've got all the variations, metal roofing Miami FL, for example. I know a lot of local searches in America tend to have like the city and then state. So that's something you want to be aware of. Going through this process with the different variations of these keywords is going to give you the specific local keywords that you need to be going for. Best roofing Miami, metal roofing Miami, Florida, like we just discussed, uh, roof cleaning Miami, etc, etc. So you get the idea you would go through and you basically it's all of these keywords with the word Miami on it. Now for the purpose of the website, you could target just the main keyword because let's say for instance, if people are searching metal roofing Miami, people in Miami are probably just searching metal roofing, in which case you can just like you would target metal roofing and metal roofing Miami and Google would show you for both of those. So that's the thing to keep in mind with local search results. Now the next thing that I do is I will go and take the main keywords. So let's say in this case, it was roofing contractors, Miami, and I will throw that into Google, or you can do it on SEMrush as well. If you open the keyword and find the top competitors, because what that's going to do is it's going to give you an idea of what keywords they are ranking for. And then from there, you know what to target. So let's take the few that are at the top here. We can go, this one is probably a directory and it looks like it's not just Miami. So I would probably ignore this one. I like to go for the actual businesses. So this is a business. This looks like a business. Business. This one is, I believe, a directory. This one is a business. This one is probably a business. Florida's roofing company. So that probably is. This one isn't my roofing company. Okay, that one is. So pull out the top five to 10, depending on how far you want to go into it. Maybe we'll go this one as well. And now what you can do is take these and throw them into SEMrush as well. So I'm going to open a new tab, throw it in. And then we go and take a look at their keywords because now this is going to give us an idea of what they're ranking for and also some keywords that may not have shown up in the SEMrush keyword reports. So if we take a look at their keywords, you can go through here and see what they're ranking for. So roof repairs, Miami, roofing, Miami, Florida, which is a high search volume. So you definitely want to go for that roof repair, Miami, roofers, Miami, FL roofing contractors again. And then like the shingle roofing company in Miami, for example, best roofing companies in Miami, 
roofing company Miami Beach. And so what this is going to do, especially if you start looking at the other ones, is you're going to start getting these extremely local area keywords that you want to target as well. So for instance, Miami Beach, I know there's a bunch of other ones. So you go down this list and you now have a bunch of local keywords that these guys rank for. So what I would do is I would export this list as a CSV over here, get a CSV or Excel file, however you want to do it, export that list, download it, open the file, and then go through all of these and do the same thing. We'll go with these guys. We'll throw them in, export their list. See, now we've got Palm Beach. If you service Palm Beach, let's just download that. Okay, and then open those Excel files. What I would do is you can eliminate all of this stuff. I would usually just leave the search volume so we know what we're talking about and the keyword difficulty, the rest can go. Delete all this and then take the other one, do the same thing and combine these keyword lists. And so what will happen is there might be thousands of keywords here though. So you're gonna have to filter out a lot of them, paste them in here. And you would do this for the top few competitors, like the top five. And now you've got a list of three or 4,000 keywords that you could theoretically target. Now, obviously, a lot of these are going to be duplicates, etc. So I would, first of all, remove all of the duplicates. You can use chat GPT for something like this, or there are other ways you can remove the duplicates. But basically, I would remove all the duplicates. You can go here and you can just click remove duplicates for an easy way to do it. Still some remain, obviously, like 30 year architectural shingle. There is a degree that you're going to have to filter through these keywords. But basically, the idea is that we have a load of keywords here now, which are specific to Miami. And the reason why is because people in Miami are ranking for them. And so now you would need to go through this list and obviously sort all these keywords out into different silos and what you want to target it, et cetera. But now you've got the list of keywords to target. And if we take a look and just search like Miami, you're going to have a bunch of keywords relating to Miami, best roofers in Miami, 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 you go Orlando, et cetera, et cetera, all these different ones. And so just go through that list, pull out the top competitors in your area, and you're going to have a pretty good idea of what keywords to target for your local area, including the different areas that they're going after. For instance, Orlando, Florida here, Miami, et cetera. There'll be a bunch of others if we go down the list. The easiest way would be just to type in like FL or TX, like there's a Texas one up here. So obviously that wouldn't be relevant. But if we just typed in like space FL, we could find all the Florida specific keywords. And then you would know which different areas to target as well. And obviously the other thing you can do too is go on their actual website and pull out, for instance, you can see all these areas they're targeting. So you would know that you would target like Aventura FL, like roofers, Aventura FL, whatever the main keywords are. If you wanted to get real specific, you can open these pages and you could go into SEMrush and throw in the specific page. And then you'll see what keywords that page is ranking for and then you could try and rank for that same page if you want to if you want to target like specific areas and things like that. So that's basically it. That's the process I use. And through this process, you're going to find basically every keyword that you need for the local area, whether it's between the competitors or the ones SEMrush gives you. And then you can put together that list and start targeting these keywords. So hope you guys found that one useful. If you don't have SEMrush, I'm going to put my affiliate link below. You can get a seven day free trial and in theory, do this entire process without having to pay for it. And then if you don't want to keep using, it, you don't have to. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below and I will answer them. Otherwise, if you'd like me to coach you on how to do SEO and Google ads for only $49 a month, go to learndominatemarketing.com. And if you'd like us to do the SEO Google ads for your business, go to dominatemarketing.io, book a call with us there. Catch you on the next one.